Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Peace and your friends and let us have some good time together. Now we go to Iran. Iran is the enemy of every single Arab country or the one you call, they consider themselves Arab. And they are in the top of that, they are Shia. So now they, the problem is double. They are Shia and they are Persian. Solve it now. The Persian, they have historic enmity with those desert people. And yet they say to you, we are going to make a caliphate. Now we go to Africa here. Egypt. Egyptian, they hate the people of Libya and they look at them down. They disrespect them. Tunisia, consider Libya and Algeria and Morocco are savage. Why? Because the Tunisian, they originally, they are from the children of the Roman. They look at themselves high. They look at the Moroccan down. The Moroccan, they hate the Algerian to death, actually. In fact, there is a war between them. In case you do not know, go right now and search. And almost every week, there is shooting through the borders between Morocco and Algeria. Shall I continue? You go to Yemen. Yemen is divided between two groups, Sunni, And Shia, and they are killing each other nonstop. Did you find any place in those land can be considered a possibility for them to be Arab? Yet all of them they call themselves Arab, except for sure the Iranian. They are the enemy of each other. They kill each other through history nonstop. This is why anyone who, who knows the history of this area, especially he called himself Arab, when he when they see those Arab leaders they are meeting, you know, he laugh. He laugh. And this is why today actually, this uh, this uh, this uh, woman, Lili Dawa, hijab upon her, she made this video making fun of her leader, her leaders. Look at him, he's, he looked like he's being cooked. Somebody was sleeping on him. Why he is upset? Because those Arab leaders, they are not leaders, simply because they cannot believe, they, they, they want to kill each other. They mean it in one table, yes, but they wish they can put poison to each other. So he's making fun of them. But you will notice that he don't dare to speak against Erdogan because if he does do, do, do so, he will not be able to go to Turkey ever again until Erdogan go. So guys, as you can see, subhanAllah, if you want to keep your interests things that benefit you, remain silent. Now on this matter, obviously I have to be fair. In Islam, to wage war, to boycott, not to boycott, these are and under the, obviously, the decision of the rulers. Of course, there should be things that's done. And we know from the evidence, there is clear evidence from the Quran and Sunnah, brothers and sisters, and when there is evidence from the Quran and Sunnah, we have no choice but to hear and submit, no matter how much we hate it. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Yeah, but this is the same reason. Guys, who of you want to make a video about the two videos we showed you? Who want to promise me to make a video, a short video about the two? You remember we showed you that he was making fun of the Muslim guy for saying it is for the ruler to say not to be caught. And now he is even quoting the hadith where his prophet saying, even if your ruler is a thief, even if he snitch your food, even if he whip your back, you have to obey. Mauritania is the same. None of those are Arab are not a nation. Arab is not Arabic is not even a language. If you ask any Muhammadan, what the word Quran mean? Quran is not an Arabic word. Most of the Quran, 
most of the Quran words have nothing to do with Arabic. Arabic is, let us say, is a collection of languages. If you ask a Muslim, how you pray? You know? But at the end, he says, Amin. Okay, what Amin mean? Okay, what Allah mean? Didn't know. Didn't know. The smart one of them, he was saying the word Allah is coming from the word Al-Ilah, which is an Aramaic word. Okay, you just admit that Arabic is not Arabic. If he say that it's coming from the Aramaic, then where is the Arabic? Why the name of your God is Aramaic? All the names you see in Gaza have nothing to do with Arabic. Like what Gaza mean? They don't know. Ask them where you get the name Gaza from. They don't know. Because this is not their land. They have nothing to do with it. You see, if it's your land, you name it, correct? Do we agree? If you have a dog, you name your dog. And don't tell me you do not know what the name is and what the name mean. So did they name the land Gaza? No. How we know? They don't even know what the Gaza mean. Okay, the Muslim they say to you Israel. In the Quran it says Israel. Okay, what Israel mean? They don't know. Suleiman, what Suleiman mean? They don't know. Okay, Abraham, they don't know. Because all of those have nothing to do with their history, with their language, with their religion. They are stolen names from other cultures and other languages. Everything they have is a theft. Literally. Ask any Muslim. Here we go. Do, do we have any Muslim here? You have an angel. His name is Gabriel. What Gabriel mean? In Arabic, Jibrail. They don't know. Nobody knows. Why? Because, okay, they say to you that Allah is the God of Muhammad and the first thing he wrote is La ilaha illallah. This is the Shahada. So Allah, he wrote the first language in Arabic, but his his angels, their names are not Arabic. You ask the Muslims, who is the first man Allah created? They said to you, Adam. Okay, what Adam mean? They don't know. Do you see how easy to prove that this the, the, the whole culture is a theft? The whole culture in the Arab culture, if we can call them the Arab, as we say, all of it is a theft. They have zero culture. Everything they have, religion, culture, music, food, clothing, is a theft. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince, who has served you humbly for today. And if you have a shake with big beard, small beard, without beard, he look weird, let him call me. So you can see why we laugh at Muhammad and his religion.